you don't seem to want to accept the fact that you're dealing with an expert in guerrilla warfare. With a man who's the best. With guns, with knives, with his bare hands. In Vietnam, his job was to dispose of enemy personnel. To kill. Period. <laughs> She was part vital, part romantic. I mean, I see Hollywood as a stepping stone. My real ambition is Broadway. And because she dared to be different, they attacked her. You've got no right! Oh, you no longer have any rights as an adult. But she wouldn't back down. I haven't got a lawyer! What I want to know is if I got any civil rights! Have I got any civil rights? Jessica Lang. I'm clean and you walk. Any trouble? Yeah, you could grow old in here, Jack. Yeah. Bad boy. A story of the survival of the fittest. Every day is a duel of strength against weakness. Bad boys. What the hell are you doing here? Mm -hmm. I was hoping to say hello to Sue Ann. You stay away from her or I'll warn you I'll have the law on you. All she remembers about you is a mean drunk trying to beat up her mama. Hey, mister. Were you really Mike Sledge? Yes, ma'am. I guess I was. <laughs> You're the good things I threw away. Coming back to me every day. You're the best it could ever farthest reaches of the imagination and deep within the human heart in what is known as the third age of middle earth a tale is told of deeds and beings a tale of a day when a great shadow will fall across the earth and ancient sorcerers will lock in mortal combat with the phantoms of the night this is the magnificent gift that J.R.R. Tolkien left to the human heart the vision beyond imagination. The Lord of the Rings. His name is R.P. McMurphy. He's 38 years old. He's being confined to the state mental hospital. They say he's crazy. <laughs> Jack Nicholson is R.P. McMurphy in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest.